Hi, this is Matt from Shamrock Aquaponic Farm, and today I'm going to show you how I put together my ebb and flow nursery trays. I started by building several um, two foot by four foot quarter inch plywood trays with an inch and a half pine border going around them, and then epoxy coated it. After the epoxy set, I went ahead and set the overflow PVC pipe in the corner for the ebb and flow portion. There's a small hole at the bottom that will let the water drip out slowly um, once filled. I decided for this system I'm going to start all of my plants in the two inch net pots instead of starting them in the smaller multi-cell trays and then having to transplant them later. I first laid out a template so I could cut my blue foam tops that are going to cover up the 10 by 20 trays that I'm using with the seedlings. Once the template was made, it, it lets me um, mark out where all of the holes are going to be located in the top and also trace out where I'm going to cut the foam on the edges. The foam I cut with just a razor knife and a straight edge and then used a hole saw to drill out the two inch holes. I cut the foam so it would be a snug fit in the 10 by 20 trays. That way it just keeps the foam from falling down to the bottom of the tray. Here's one of the finished trays with four 10 by 20s in it ready to be planted. Here are some seedlings that are ready to go into the rack for a few weeks to grow. This is a simple four zone orbit um, sprinkler timer that I'm using to divert my aquaponic water into the nursery trays. It, it cycles several times a day. I like this system because then without having to repot, the plants can be put into the vertical garden, which is here. They'll drop right into the pipes, or they can be put into the deep water raft, which um, I've got some agaves growing in right here, or they can be put into the gravel beds. You know, they, the plants do fine. You can leave them in the two inch pots and the roots will just go right through the bottom. So I hope you like this idea and maybe it'll help you when, with your system. Um, you can find this and many other time and cost saving tips at shamrockaquaponicfarm.com. Thanks, this has been Matt. I'll see you next time.